Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm a proud new owner of the iMac 27 inch mid 2020 model and after being a lifelong PC user I had one major concern. Is the Elgato HD60 capture card that I've used for many years now compatible with the new iMac? So this video is a simple test to see if it works and it's also the first of my new little iMac series called Mac Noob Learns. So as we can all see, I have a pretty old Elgato HD60. It's beat up, scuffs everywhere. I used to have it mounted on a wall so there's sticky residue on it still. And pretty much this thing has been tossed around and treated very poorly over the years. But the important thing is, it still works. So for my usual subscribers that are wondering, this is what I use to record all of my Animal Crossing New Horizons content on for this channel. So my goal here is to get the Elgato working on the iMac so that I can record all my future AC and H gameplay straight to the iMac. Rather than using my old gaming PC and transferring the files over with a flash drive or SD card, Let's get everything hooked up and plugged in. And my first tip that I want to share is that from my past experiences, try not to plug the Elgato into a USB hub. I'm pointing to one right now, if you can see that little black little square right there. Short reason why most USB hubs just don't provide enough power to power on the Elgato. So it's always best to use a built-in USB port on your computer. So in this case, it's inconveniently on the back of the iMac. And there you go. You see all the lights light up, enough power for the Elgato. So it's up and running, now we just have to get the rest of the plugs in, and the desk is gonna get messy. So that's why I'm using this weird setup and stack my desk in front of each other, just to have a little bit more real estate. I'll be using a Nintendo Switch today, and instead of using the traditional Switch dock, I'm using a third-party dock alternative, and this is what I actually use when I record on the Elgato anyway, when I have to record the Switch. So... This is pretty much my setup. Quickly though, the mini dock has all of the same ports that the real dock has, and it even has an ethernet port for a LAN connection. But with all docks, we need to use the switch power supply that came with the console, and we'll be plugging in that power supply into that little desktop surge protector to the lower left hand side of the video. I just want to mention that for those who are wondering what that thing was, and we see the light on the mini dock that's turned on, so everything is good and powered on that end. Now I'm tugging on an HDMI cable that's plugged into the black computer monitor on the right side of the shot. And that's strictly for monitoring the switch through the Elgato, because for those of you who may not know, there's a slight delay on the capture card when you watch the feed on your actual computer that's recording the gameplay footage. So the side you want to plug in the monitor on is on this side where there's one solo HDMI port. There's nothing to the left or right of it, that's strictly for HDMI. HDMI out. So that side is usually plugged into one of my larger TVs, but for the sake of this video, I want everything in one shot. So I'm going to plug in another HDMI cable, and I chose a green braided one on purpose to see the difference in colors and cables, and that is going to go into the switch dock, and the other end is going to go on the HDMI inside on the Elgato, and you see the little red light flash, so it kind of activated everything. So for future reference, the side of the Elgato with an HDMI port, 3.5 millimeter plug, and the USB is the side you want to use to plug in your console. But with that said, as soon as I plug in the mini dock, I just did right now, the screen should go black and it should be relayed to the black monitor that's been sleeping. And the monitor has woken up and there is the Nintendo Switch. So that means the Elgato is actually working as a pass through right now and everything is up and running. And a little note, I'm using the Switch as an example, but this connection process applies to pretty much any console with an HDMI port, so Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, etc. But anyway, the next step now is to find the correct software. So let me get everything set up, pull that little white keyboard closer, and get a screen recording going on the iMac so we can visit Elgato's website for a software download that's compatible with Mac OS. So if you're a Mac noob like me, here's a Mac noob tip. To get the screen capture prompt on your iMac, all you have to do is press Shift, Command, and 5 at the same time, and then you'll see a toolbar that lets you take screen grabs and screen recordings. So that's a pretty cool built-in feature. I actually had to get a third-party app on my PC to be able to do that, so it's nice to know. You can barely see it, but it's that smaller bar on top of the main desk icons on the iMac. I zoomed in to try to see it a little better, but all the way to the right hand side it says record, and I press that button, and here is a live screen recording of everything that's going on. 
So I'm just going to keep the mouse and keyboard in the shot just so everybody can see that everything is being recorded as I'm doing it. I just typed in Elgato HD60 software for Mac or something along those lines. I can't see. I'm really, really blind and I'm doing a voiceover right now. <laughs> but I'm on Elgato's website right now and it's the HD60, one of their oldest models. I remember when I first got that. Seems like it was just yesterday. But I made sure to choose Mac for the download and the software is now downloading and I have a pretty good connection because I'm plugged in right now so I think it might be done and yes it is I still don't know what some of these things do on Mac and it's just trying to make this a part of my icons or something but anyway let's get everything set up just press next just press submit sure I guess I'll give you permission to use my microphone and camera you guys can spy on me <laughs> just kidding it's probably for live streaming and you want to use your webcam anyway here is the interface it looks a little bit different compared to PC but if I know how to use this if I go to this area and actually just select the capture card the Elgato HD 60 it should switch to that feed and everything should be powered on pretty soon because I think the Nintendo Switch is still on and there it is. It's actually dimmed out because I haven't touched it in a while. But if I shake my little controller, there's the light and everything is up and running. It's kind of redundant because I'm screen recording a capture card recording my Switch and it's kind of like this inception of recordings. But <laughs> So I'm just going to use that for a second just to show off that it works on the iMac and then I'll show a little snippet or a little clip of what it actually looks like from the raw video file of the Elgato. So the sound is actually coming through my computer right now and my iPhone 11 which is recording this whole entire thing or at least the desk portion is picking that up and strangely I didn't sync up the videos properly but there is a slight delay and I think I fix it in the next clip other than that everything seems to be working just fine so here is the actual Elgato captured footage and everything looks to be working just fine sound is being captured there isn't any clipping or dropped frames and this is actually performing performing <laughs> performing way better on my iMac in comparison to my gaming laptop so I forgot to mention that there aren't any upgrades to my iMac it just has an i5 processor and 8 gigs of RAM which I plan on upgrading soon but everything is running smoothly streaming may be a whole other story but this iMac is slightly better spec wise than my gaming laptop the only thing the gaming laptop had was a better graphics card but I'll be testing the streaming capabilities of the Elgato on the iMac in the near future but if I were to give my assumption I'd say that medium stream settings at the highest would be possible a safer bet would be low to medium somewhere in between but regardless, I'll be using this primarily for capturing my gameplay, and this was able to record at 1080p with 60 frames, even though I highly doubt that Animal Crossing uses 60 frames. Regardless, the test footage looked pretty nice, and I have to say that this was a successful test and a great first experiment for my Mac Noob Learn series of videos. So with all of that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all of your support and your attention, and if you like this video, please make sure to check out these other they may interest you in some way shape or form and if you really liked hanging out with me today consider subscribing to be the first to know when i upload something new i'll see you all soon please take care of yourselves out there